Starting my video. Is it ready? You're on. All right, hello, Facebook people. Um, we are gonna go and see a tour of the Harvey Gamut. Looks like all their crew are getting ready to uh, split ski to go to the party, but we've got a little bit of time before the oysters are really ready and the pig roast is really ready. This is like insider knowledge. So let's go and uh, we'll give a high five maybe to all the crew on our way. We've got a couple of our crew also coming with us. So uh, this is uh, Bart, Ray, and then Judy's behind the camera. Hi. Hi. All right. Hi guys. Thank you for letting us come aboard. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Hi guys. Thank you. Thank you guys for letting us come aboard. How are you? Good. How are you? Great. We're so excited to see her. You're live? <laughs> oh, no. yeah, feel free to make your way aboard. You got uh captain and the program coordinators there ready for you. Awesome. We're just grabbing provisions right now. So Alright, sounds great. Thank you. So 1973, this is the Harvey Gamage. I know that mostly from a bunch of my friends in Crew of Honor. She does uh, semester programs, but I don't know what she's doing recently, and it's going to be really exciting. I think it has to do with Cuba, so let's check it out. Oh, check that out. They've got actually labels on some of their stuff. This is what we love to find out. It's all their little secrets. What does that say? Inner jib... I don't know. Pull up. <laughs> another schooner here. She's really high freeboard from Canada. <laughs> hello, hello. Hello. Hey, How are you? Yeah, got so many schooners around here. Oh, yeah. Is that the old schooner, Windy? Mystic. Mystic. I mean, Mystic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The what was it? And now oh, yeah, she's got, man, but she didn't, or, not, used to have um, square topsails. She did? Yeah. Really? Alright, well. We can't remember everything. Hey, come aboard. Welcome Are aboard. you Captain Stevenson? Hello, welcome. Hello, alright. So this is only oh, oh we're got provisioning coming on. Alright, oh, let's yeah, have yeah. them on. Where should we go? Where should we start? Go down there before okay. all the food comes on. Oh, alright. Yeah. Alright. Welcome aboard the schooner out of damage. Now, so looking at the back of your uh, jacket. That is not the schooner out of But is this a sister? <laughs> is, it, is the Bill of Rights a sister ship? Yeah, to the uh, game? I had that in California. Sister ship built two years before this one. It's the twin to this boat in many respects, other than the, the odd placement of the propeller, which is way off to the side. Uh, so, <laughs> other than that, very similar. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for having us. Aboard. This is great. So, um, yeah, give us a little, like, give us like a three, two to three minutes spiel about what what you guys are doing now and okay. like about the boat. So, as you all probably know, we just got done with the race, which we're really happy with how we did at the race. Um, we've got our regular crew on board. We've got our students on board, which we call Google Ambassadors. Um, Everybody's still learning how the boat operates. Uh, you know, we had a great run down the bay. Uh, the crew did a fantastic job. The boat held up really well. It's come a little closer because uh, I don't know if they can hear the wind, you know? Yeah, you, you know. Yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's my job. <laughs> Man, you're gonna change their lives. I was a semester um, girl myself. I did oh, good. 
prior to Massachusetts, and it definitely it changed my life, you know. So, and now we, my family has a schooner, so you never know how those those moments that these guys are all having right now are going to make a difference. That's awesome. So, uh, changing my life every day. <laughs> <laughs> We could ask so many questions here. <laughs> <laughs> we'll move on. We're All right, we'll move on. At... Okay, so, um, but this is cool because it's like a worm steering gear, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell us a little bit about it? Because I think it's pretty cool. I'll be happy to tell you about it. We have the strangest worm steering gear you're ever going to see on one of these ships. This is made in Lunenburg, Nova Scotia. It's not supposed to look like this. It's not supposed to be shaky like that. And, uh... <laughs> so that's a work in progress. Not really. It held up really well during the race. I was very surprised. Right? Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. And so when it says worm and gear, what does that mean actually? Because we got a lot of people that are brand new to this stuff. Um, we have threads that come in from either side. So when you spin the wheel, it spins all these oh, cool. big clunky pieces together. And that spins this piece, the rudder post here. And then uh, when you spin it the other way, it turns the whole rudder post the other way. Turns. That's yeah, that a is a lot of, lot of turns. <laughs> That's a lot of work. Yeah, we could have had hydraulic steering, but we could have had a fancy race with it. Wow. That's impressive. Yeah. It's, cool. it's, it's yes, that's awesome. Wait Thank you. Where do we show you the windows? That's a good Is that one of these? Uh, sure. Yeah. Let's go below. All right. You go down backwards like okay. a ladder. Uh-oh. Camera crew. Camera crew? Here, <laughs> I'll, I'll grab for a second. <laughs> All right, we're going down this way. That may be the first time I've ever gone down that ladder backwards. <laughs> Amen. We can edit that out, right? Nah, this is all live. We've got three viewers right now. Um, <laughs> John Barry, so John Barry right there is... Um, he used to be a captain of this boat. And oh, hopefully good. John will give me some comments so he can give you more information. But here's the galley right here. And well, that's the main salon. Oh, this is the main salon? Yeah. Here's the galley, sorry. The stove is. Yeah, sorry. I'm new. <laughs> <laughs> this, is why, this is why she's the videographer. So here's my favorite Disney. piece of equipment on board. We have no electric pumps. We have no other sinks on board. This is the only sink we have. And when you want to get water out of the tank, yeah, uh, you have to do that's that. That's awesome. <laughs> that's so cool. That's, that's our sink. Oh, my God. And that's original, right? That's original. Awesome. As far as I know, I'm not original, so I can't say for sure, but I think that's probably original. Nice. I love the chalkboard. Right. We now, need that. Now, <laughs> Judy's uh, the other one commenting here. So she was saying, like, the Virginia stove, the schooner Virginia stove, very kind of similar, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's identical to our stove, except our stove is a little bigger. <laughs> All right. Bigger is better, right? Bigger of it. <laughs> we haven't had to chop off the handles of the cast iron skillets yet. More chocolate chip cookies at 2 a.m. Two, uh, uh, midnight. 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 Graveyard chip. Absolutely, yes. Oh, uh, let's see. This we is have so a couple cool. of cabins in here, which we won't look at. Okay, uh, none there. And then we have the engine room, which Private. we're to take a quick peek in. Okay. Sounds great, and I love um, I love your uh, the way that you've got all this with the fire extinguishers. I love how safety conscious you guys are. That's right. That's yeah, right. one of, one of our crew members. Oh, behind the camera, actually did some similar diagrams on the boat for us. Yeah, great, cool. Okay. All right, are we going into the engine room? You can take a peek, and then maybe we'll go look at where the uh, ambassadors stay. This is nice and warm and cozy. How are you guys doing? Good. I'm Ray. Ray, Steven. Mark, how are you doing? Should I go in there? Good. Good. Cool. <laughs> there you go. Awesome. So now where? Ah, oh, we'll go back. So wait a minute. Is this actually, you can't go forward this way or can you? No, you can't go forward this way. Watertight bulkhead? It's an bulkhead? boat. So we have, we have watertight bulkheads. Every compartment you go up, you go back down, you go up, you go back down. I love this because everybody asks the same question on our boat. Exactly. So I like that they've got the same answer. Consistency. <laughs> and it's good for crew training. Yeah. By the way, this guy right here, if we can just introduce him real quick. Hi, hi, hi. So this is hi, hi. Captain Nate. Right, and uh, what's your job now on the boat? So I, I joined the boat recently actually, but for the organization which is Ocean Passages, uh, I'm the Director of Public Affairs. Uh, so what that means in a new organization is a lot of things, helping with programming and developing our, you know, our programs in Cuba and writing a lot and uh, 
and talking to lots of people about what we're doing. So Do you take kids or adults in, to Cuba? We take adults. So we take, our, our GAP programs are 18 to 24 year olds. <laughs> um, and so we, we have a spring, uh, spring program coming up. Um, that starts in mid-March. We'll be a month and a half in Cuba with GAP, GAP students. Mm -hmm. And then we'll be sailing north to Maine. But um, before March, it's adults. Before March, it is adults. Because, you, you know, you, we're that's talking right. to the, the know, people who are the people who are watching. That's they, right, that's right. You got prices, anything like that? So what we're doing, we, we have a lot of different programs we're working on. We have one and two week. Uh, this is where he's going to say, yeah. see the website. See, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I already going to. We have one, one or two week programs. Uh, we're based in Isle of Youth and also in Cienfuegos. Um, Cienfuegos is on the uh, southeast corner of Cuba, and Isle of Youth is uh, off of the southwest. All right, we're going to so keep going. Pictures. You think about the prices. I will. If you want to go on, if you want to go on the record, yeah. or special deal for our yeah. Facebook watchers. Ocean-passages.org. Ocean-passages.org. Ocean -passages All right. <laughs> Alright. You a student? Yes. Awesome. Is this gonna change your life? It's gonna change my life. Yes. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Did I find a double maker? I always find a double maker. <laughs> Another useful tool. No gem. <laughs> no, I just wanna see what's inside. It's useful. Uh, in training the crew how to pull boats up and down. Yeah. Man over Port Jones? No, it's calling online. Um, what are these engines for? No? No, no, we don't use any engines on board. This is a fully <laughs> traditional boat. We have no need for engines. I don't know what those are doing there. These must be stolen. I don't it's know a what figment of your imagination. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why my name is on that. All right, why don't you go on down below first? Here you go. We're gonna watch Judy. Like a ladder. Yeah. In the meantime, we're gonna go and look up at the rigging. All right. I'm gonna pass my phone down. Here you go. Ready? Ready? There you go. It's it's right on to where you guys are pointing. Oh, oh not, like a ladder. You. <laughs> I'm like, not, a, not a complimentary. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is an exceptionally clean forward area. Uh, follow me. <laughs> so we've got mostly students and, and our ambassadors who live in these bunks. Uh, and I swear they're always exactly as clean as you right now. <laughs> and, uh, if you go all the way up, you can see where some of the crew stay. I hope they've cleaned up there. It looks beautiful. We have to censor some of this. We can, always, live. We can always edit this stuff out. No, right? it's no, totally it's clean. Live. This is great condition. Oh my god, you yes. have yeah. look and they have a little window. How many how many women crew versus men crew? Oh, um I try not to keep track. We okay. just kind of uh, so it's all a work in progress. Everybody's the same, equal. No, I was just curious because I'm usually kidding. the women are sometimes. <laughs> we have an all-women crew on this scooter race, and it's very interesting oh, to cool, see yeah. how they have actually, like, they get up early, they're oh. ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got somebody sleeping. All right, no. All right, this way. This way. Oh, that way. Beware the bunks. Do we get to wake up the person? There may be sleepers. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Has there always been a cork floor? No, there hasn't always been a cork floor, and there will not be a cork floor for much longer if I had my way. But there's a lot of do we have something strange on the screen or is nope. everything good? Okay, cool. Our All right. bookshelf, we have a great selection. Nice. Of books. <laughs> yes, you do. All right. Cool. Up. Up. Let's go. go. So while we're going up, can you tell me what the square foot of sale area? I can't tell you. Okay. How about your overall length? You notice the cork floor? Uh, 131? Cork floor. Cork floor. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wait, I'm going to hold up. I'm going to pass this up. Jen? Uh, 5,000 square feet of sales. Lovely handrail. Oh, so I'm not a DOI. Okay. Well, 4,200. So, yeah. So, um, it's debatable. So, we got a lot of sale area. A lot of sale area. How, when did you guys finish the Great it, Chesapeake it, it, Bay it Scooter Race? on if we count the water sales. Oh. 
we did experiment with a water sale this trip. What does that mean? Do you, do you, do you want to talk so about it? we have a very it? special sale. We rarely get it out, and it, 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 it's, it's kind of rare in the whole schooner thing. When we get this when we get this thing out, and we're really sailing along, we can add a little piece of sail that goes along the bottom. It's almost identical to our awning. You would figure it may even be the awning. Wow. It's not. It's the water sail. <laughs> and it, what, what it two tenths of a knot? It's out on either end, and I mean, <laughs> I'll tell you what, it, it has so much driving force. Can, can I tell you? Yeah. We did the same thing with our sail covers one year. Oh, yeah. And we put in, remember that, right? Yep. And we put the sail covers <laughs> right under our boom. And yeah. we got a little bit more sailor. Get a little yeah. bit. You can see it. <laughs> yeah, you know, oh, yeah. you don't tell the race committee about That's those things. Cute. Yeah, I'm not saying we did no, that. Oh, we didn't do that. Oh, look, it was a board. So, um. And of course, we did not do that during the race. Yes, I uh, of course not. <laughs> never. So, how? When did you guys finish the race? Uh, Roughly. Oh five, oh six, oh six. Oh five, oh so five o'clock. Five o'clock in the morning. Wow! Awesome. Nice right? job. So that's like less than six, seventeen hours, right? Something like 16, that. Yeah. I mean, we really tore it up. That's that cool. What were your speeds like? We had ten eight. How many people were seasick? Anybody? Yeah, Nobody was seasick. We've long since dropped. Oh, that's great. That's great. Okay, oh, yeah. cool. So let's see up forward. What do we got to check out, Ray? Right here. Someone's cleaning the bell. Somebody's cleaning the bell. Oh, John Barry. Are you excited? <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, They'll yeah. be so happy. That's Cal, our engineer. <laughs> you you can't have a tarnished bell. <laughs> this is kind of an old style thing you might not have seen on a lot of other boats. This is where we keep all of our chains. We've got two boxes on either side. It's not down in the, in the oh, wow. what you would call the chain lock. Uh, oh, oh, right. Uh, to keep it in here. Uh, you don't have to, you know, I don't get to throw people down in the, in the chain locker anymore, which is always a lot of fun, but now they just have to put it in here, which is kind of disappointing. So but when you let it out, is this already organized to go out? Yeah, so you have these boards on the deck. Uh-huh. For chain, and we'll lay the chain all along here on these boards, and then when they let it go off, it kind of runs out, and then, uh... Comes time to haul it back up. We use a, a wonderful windlass here. So this is what the Spirit of Massachusetts had that yeah. I did my semester yeah. at senior college, and I remember my hands and how awfully dirty they were and the calluses after laying that chain out there. Yeah. And then, oh my God! And he looks they like I can't remember if they had boxes or not. Yeah. But hopefully, some of my semester friends will like chime in here. But yeah, it was really cool. Same. And now you've got three. Three jibs? We have uh, two jibs and a staysail. Brand new staysail we got just for the race. I blame this staysail for anything awesome. <laughs> <laughs> now, and these, we... I think that's a Nat Wilson sail. One of the most remarkable pieces of This is the gym equipment, right? That's the windless equipment. <laughs> Say it, Jim. Gym, gym equipment, gym equipment, gym equipment. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could call it that. So Easily these, can that. we just put that in and just sure. show people? Because I bet you they don't. I mean, just one time. <laughs> Is this the right time to say? Oh, crikey! <laughs> That's a big windlass. That's a big, That's a big windlass. windlass. And what's that called? windless handle. Of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Thank you. I'll put it back for you. If you like. Yeah. What else? Um, and like, how many anchors do you have? Well, we have these two anchors, um, which is a pretty good answer. We also have a couple of smaller anchors for the dinghies. Um, I got? am searching for a larger anchor if you guys have any. Please, please really? Sure. I mean, I guess, it, you know, maybe that's a thing. Larger anchor. Yeah. You know, I think Eric, <laughs> Captain Eric Losey is still searching for his bowsprit, you know? Yeah, but we, we won't talk about that. Well, maybe we will, but that's later. Cool, and now um, we don't have these things on the woodwind. What are these things? Oh, you don't? No. Those are mass tubes. Um, you guys know what? You, how you get your keys on your keychain. That's how you put these on there. Uh, really? Yeah. You I, put them on the mast. Oh, so cool. Yeah. All right. So you we don't have, have a mass no, track. Don't. That is so cool. We don't have a mast track, and you, uh, so in order to get the sail attached to the mast in between these, these, the boom and the gap, it's attached to the hoop. So once you pull the thing all the way up, the hoops all 
slide up with it and you cover the mast in Vaseline. Vaseline? <laughs> Whose well, job is they that? Used, they, originally, the real, what you're supposed to use is lanolin, which is what you get from, from sheep. And it used to be you could get. Why do you go five sheep and then touch here? Because they get it from the, from the wool. The wool. Out of oh. the sheep. That's what we're doing. So, I no it used to be you smear lanolin all over it, you could get five gallons of lanolin anywhere, but now, because they use it for beauty products, it's like a thousand dollars a you can't really use it on to your my chapstick. Anyway. So now I have a question. Like, I'm sorry. This just looks like a crazy nightmare to a modern day sailor. So is you put the hoops on first, or do you put the sail on first? Well, the hoops are all on, and if you break a hoop, you have to put a new one on. Like okay. And then near the top of the sail, the the sail is seized directly onto the hoop. You can see that. Yeah. And then further down towards the bottom, you want to have some adjustment so the bottom of the sail can pull away from the mast a little bit. So you have a bolt rope that goes through the lower hoops and then through other pieces on the sail. Oh, and right. Instead of seizing the sail directly so, onto the lower hoops, you use the bolt rope. Very cool. Yeah. Thank you for showing that because, you know, yeah, that's uh, oh, you it's all this. so different. This is one of my oh. favorite parts of the boat. Um, we do have an extra water pump <laughs> kitchen faucet I love faucet. That. but this is our lifter pump this is our bilge pump this is a one cylinder diesel engine has a hand crank you can crank this thing over by hand if all the batteries are dead and it does have a big alternator that will charge things up as well but this is our uh, our bilge pump our fire pump this is what we do deck wash with it's a one cylinder <laughs> English engine it's just amazing <laughs> Like no a, buckets like over the side? Piece. Oh, we have buckets too. Oh, all right. I remember having to wash reverse. down the spirit. What? Sometimes fire up in reverse. Uh, <laughs> May. Yeah. <laughs> May. Yeah, that's right. That's right. They're not making it. How would we know? And would you, because the guy cranking it breaks his wrist. Yeah, right, yeah. Do you, I mean, and you probably don't know because you're, you're newer to the Literally. boat, but are these like original mass or... I no idea. Know. Okay, Maybe, that's okay. Yeah, possibly. because I was aboard the schooner Brilliant, and they it's still have the original mess. Oh, I mean, I I imagine these are the original mess. I mean, which is shocking. Like you, you know, yeah. <laughs> it's shocking. It's cool, and they right. have like where the old winches were and all the different placements. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, really yeah, cool. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, it's well, certainly the original deck. What's it made out of? Um, I think it's pine. Yeah. It almost looks like our deck. It's oil. Doesn't it Which, look like almost our Douglas mm -hmm. fur deck? Yeah, Not all does. boats oil their decks. Is that the same oil? Land, the same like land? No, no. The land is not oil. It's not oil? No. It's sheep excretion. You can tell I'm on a modern <laughs> boat. <laughs> sheep excretion is land. <laughs> awesome. It makes great lotion. Great to know. All right, anything else that's awesome that we need to know about? Oh, wait, check out the size of this. That's really cool. That's right. a camel. You're talking about the wood or the line? I mean, the, the, like that's a ginormous cleat. It's a camel, yeah. Camel. Giant cleat. Cool. Sometimes they call it a giant cleat, but we frown on that. And you know, I failed to mention this on any of the other boats, but like, there's no winches on this boat, right? No. It's just. No. That's right. Muscle and belaying pins. And I'll tell you what, when, uh, when you have to get the last bit of the sail off and you've got the biggest person on the boat trying to do it it's amazing to see I used to have uh, a really really tiny crew and I mean she used to we call it sweating the line she used to sweat that line so perfectly you get this huge guy trying to do it and he can't do it she would do it with the right technique yeah no problem I know we, we like I said we got the all the muscles it's yeah. about, exactly it's about leverage about, about leverage right yes right. exactly yeah, yeah. cool Anything else you want to share? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> Any other promo? I'm pieces? sure Nate has yeah. something else. To no, I just want to say we're uh, <laughs> reviewing applications right now for the spring gap program. So send them in if you're interested. Tell your friends. And check between out, 18 and between 24, 18 and you're 24. not. You just don't want to go to high school. I mean, you don't want to go ab after high school. You don't want right, to find or maybe, your career. Maybe you even just graduated college and you need an adventure. I mean, even after be, college? Yeah. If you're 22, you just finished school. Sure. Mm -hmm. This is also a, gr would this be a great way to get um, captain. Of course. Yeah. So if you're like seat time, I mean, seat time for, I mean, your for your captain license, ton. Oh, for your hundred ton. ton. Cool. Definitely. And not near coastal. Not near coastal. I mean, so we're. Your, so we're. It is probably near 
it called? Off 150 miles offshore? We're going to be further out than that. Okay. Yeah, cool. So you got some yeah. really great sea That's all mileage. technical. We have yeah. To, yeah. So have great sea out. mileage yeah. that you can get. Um, great time. And you can be at the helm and you're raising sails. You're doing everything, navigating. I mean, you're, you're putting these you guys. You are part of the crew. You're part of the you're crew. Joining, you're making the meals. Yeah. Cleaning you're the head. Cleaning the, the head. Plus, you're yeah. getting the oh, make it so attractive. You're scrubbing, so you're, <laughs> you're scrubbing the deck. <laughs> and now, when you're an so adult, when you do the adult program, oh, sure. when you do the adult programs, um, the lifelong learner program. We do have lifelong learner program yeah. as well. Are you also then put into your different watches and doing all that stuff? It's a different kind of gap. Yeah. Different. It okay. Depend, depends on the program. We've That's awesome. a lot of different things. So. Very cool. Do we have any questions that have been rolling through? Or is, I know sometimes it's hard to see those questions. Too. You just answered it because she asked, what about 64? 64. 64, 64 year old. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, cool. I hope you get lots of people. I'm hoping to sneak aboard when you're not looking. I'm just going to yeah. like, sneak aboard in one of the cabins and maybe come to the sail. With we were just talking about sneaking aboard your boat. So. Yeah. Well, Chris, <laughs> just bring bring big boots. <laughs> okay. gonna be, the boat, doc's going to be underwater. Yeah. So thank you so much. You're I really, welcome. really appreciate it. It was really great meeting you. Yeah, it's good to meet you. Yeah. And thank you, <laughs> Nate. Thank you, Jen. So, Nate, when, you. what year were you, you crew, by the way? Oh, let's see. Was it 2012 through 15, maybe? Yeah. From Woodwim? So we kind of thought if you guys would sneak aboard our boat at him, the so. same time, we'll <laughs> Whatever I know, we don't boat. know. It's very <laughs> right, right, right. And you still remember line three and line four and line two of helping course. us on the but dock. That's, that's what's great about but every schooner. This, you know? it's every schooner. Thing. It's funny, brilliant, you know, we, we docked and, and I'm sleeping and I knew they were going to dock and I hear, send line one. Sending line one. Yeah. Hold line one. <laughs> Holding line one. Like, I'm like, I love that cadence. Like, that's beautiful. Yeah. It didn't put me to sleep, though. Yeah. I was like, I got to get out of the boat. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you so much at Facebook land and uh, all around, good. whoever's watching. And uh, thank you. Your name is Claire. Claire, Say bye. So nice to meet you. And thank you really so much. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. Thank you. How do I hang it you up? You just finish where it says